good morning students the last class we saw that uh, meenakshi ammal and pupai they both were conversing now what they were conversing actually they were conspirating actually you should say actually what they were conspiring was that they should not tell the last of the jewel to the father but uh, the time they were conspiring it was seen by whom it was seen by mr ramanathan who is ramanathan ramanathan is a meenakshi ammal's husband now because he wa had seen that uh, talk the conversation so they had to admit that yes they have lost the nose stud the diamond stud yes now the loss of the jewel had to be admitted soon the whole village knew about it knew new means new is the past tense of no so they all came to know what they all came to know they all came to know about the jewel which is already they have lost so they have come to know the whole village has come to know about that the maid servant kupai was suspected by everyone to have stolen it so naturally whom they will suspect first the maid servant now who is the maid servant here kupai so kupai was the one to be suspected the suspected what is the meaning of that suspected suspected to create a doubt to create a doubt of doing something wrong to create a doubt of doing something wrong that is have a fault eh? something fault they have done so suspected is the, the doubting somebody suspected is to doubting somebody to have a doubt on somebody that they have done some some wrong thing some wrong thing okay so now who is suspect suspect and who is being suspected kupai is suspected kupai is the servant maid servant the police came and searched her the police came and searched her but could not find nothing now what happened they have come and find they are searching the hut now hut is what hut is a small house like it is made out of not concrete and all it is made out of thatched roof eh? that place they are coming and they are seeing ramayya's heart was in a flutter now these things are going nearby now actually the one who is guilty eh? the one who is guilty who is guilty now ramayya and ramayya's wife only will be guilty why because the nose jewel is with them so they are clearly guilty no so that is why their heart is pumping a lot now why they are afraid huh? so it is in a flutter whose heart is in flutter ramayya's heart is in a flutter so ramayya's wife put the stud away in her box now what she is doing because they she thought that okay now kupai's house they are searching so they will come into my house also now she is hiding the jewel in some in a place in a box it, she is keeping it okay now she she soon developed a severe fever and was confined to her bed now what she is doing she is developing a fever as if she is acting as if she is having a fever and then she is confining herself confining in means limiting herself restricting herself so keeping oneself in one place that is what is confinement so she is keeping herself on the bed acting as if she is having some fever now so she is confining herself to on the bed no one thought of searching their house now because these people already they are okay they are poor people how they never have would have thought that the stud will be with this people okay so that's why and already they are uh, having fever and so many things they are telling no so for that they would have not thought of it also so he sparrow said look at the fun my dear the, the lady of this house is scared and is down with fever now who is watching all this the sparrows are watching so the he sparrow is telling to the she sparrow let's see these people how much they are acting and what fear they are having and she he is watching and everything they are conversing now what all is going on in the house is seen by whom is watched by whom is watched by the sparrows nice fun indeed said the she sparrow so these people are really having a good laugh on them see how nicely they are acting developing the fever hiding the uh, stud in the box all these things they are doing no see how they are doing so they were just uh, uh, laughing on them the poor woman is in a panic the fever may be the end of her so the sparrow the she sparrow is telling the poor uh, woman that is the who one who stole no ramaya's wife she is in a panic panic means what panic means to be afraid eh? to be frightened another word you can say to be frightened or out of fear eh? all those things you can say now who is in panic 
Ramaya's wife is in panic. Why she is in panic? Because she is the one having the, uh, the gold, that is the diamond stud. Okay, so it is all. Okay, now the, fe the fever may be the end of her. And a good thing too, said the cruel male sparrow. Oh, if it is the end of the fever, is the end of her, she is dying also, it will be okay. Because she is very cruel, no. She has stolen others' uh, belongings. So she has to die. That is what they are telling the sparrows. It is all your doing, you brought through it here and tempted her, said the female bird. Now these, these sparrows are con conversing, what they see, the female sparrow is a... Eh? telling that it is all because of you. It's the whole thing is all because of you. What is that? You only brought the stud and you dropped it and you are the one to tempt her also. Now what is tempting? Tempting is what? Just to invoking like, just to invoke. So the kind of attraction you will get, you know, because of the attraction you may do some wrong things. Huh? That's why. So you cannot uh, just to say that, okay, okay, it's not mine. The, the stud belongs but to somebody else. You cannot take others, things like that. That's what she is asking him. That is, you are the one to do all these things. You brought the stud, you dropped it here, and you tempted her. Because of the temptation, she just uh, hid it in the box, and she is having it now. The male uh, bird answered gravely. Now, what is gravely? Gravely means what is it? Gravely. Quickly is answering that, yes, did I tell her to steal the thing? Very cool, she, he is asking. Grave means it is a graveyard, you can say. Graveyard is all cool, no? So very cool, he is telling. Hey, did, it, did I tell her to steal the things? Yeah, I was the one to bring it, okay? I admit that I was the one, I dropped it. Did I ask her to take it? That was the question now. So this is a bound to, this is bound to happen when humans are being greedy. See, I did not ask. Thou see, because of her greediness, eh? greediness only, she has been tempted and she has taken the stud and she is having it. And she is developing all kind of fever out of fear. Rightly said, we would never be greedy for what belongs to others. That's what she is also accepting. That is a female sparrow also. She is also accepting, yes. That is what you, what you said is right only. So what, uh, even though we are having some kind of temptation, we should think whether the, the object, whether the, that thing belongs to us. If it doesn't belong to us, we should not go and pick it up. So we should not be greedy for others' things. That's what the advice given by the female sparrow. Come, let us go now and bring some worms for the young ones. And the two flew out. Now what the uh, female bird is telling, okay? That is their work, that is their activity, let them see all those things. Let us go and bring some food for our young ones. And they flu. Now what is, the, what is the meaning of flu? Flu is nothing but the past tense of fly. So two birds are flying away for in search of a, they are flying away in search of a food for the young ones. Ramaya and his wife spend the rest of life in fear of being caught. Now see. Throughout their life, they are still in fear only. They are not leading a normal life. They are always in fear now because they are very guilty, no? They cannot say that no state belong is there with is with them. And because it is if they said, if they say like that, they will be caught. They will be punished. Eh? So they are not saying, so they are hiding it now. So diamond nose well may still be with them, but the fear of getting caught was even more. See, all the way throughout the life, they will be what they will be doing. They will be out, leading their life out of fear only. There will not be any peace in their life. So what lesson we are getting from this lesson is that we should not be greedy. We should not get tempted for others things. That is the lesson we get from this prose. Okay. So let us conclude children. This lesson, this story uh, was written by our uh, Great politician, you can say, great statesman, you can say, he was also an historian. Eh? He was the governor, last governor general of India, Raja Gopalachari. He was the one to write this story and see how nice lesson he has given that we should not be greedy. What's the lesson we are getting from this, children? That is, we should not be greedy. So, you should uh, read this lesson louder and underline those words which you don't understand and just to find out the meanings if you can, if you have a dictionary at home. 
and what the homework uh, homework i am giving is see we have lots of past tense and eh? uh, past tense words we have we tense we have here in this word like for example swept flu so some of the words i have given on the board you can just uh, write those words and just write the present form of that word past form is given in the textbook you what you have to do is you have to write the present form of those words at least for 15 words you find out and write the uh, present tense of those words that is the homework i am giving you children read this lesson it is a very nice uh, lesson very nice story you should say and if you can also write the meanings whichever you don't know eh? you can write in tamil also so that you can understand rightly and you read this lesson many times so that you can understand it thoroughly i hope you understood the lesson thank you children thank you very much